Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in again, but we are playing pre-Repentance Plus without that update installed, just so we can use mods still, because the mods aren't working at the moment with Repentance Plus, and I'm not even sure if they will end up working. Either way, I wanted to check out the tech modular here. This is a something wicked item, basically, when we fire. Two lasers come from either side. It's pretty cool, uh, and it actually scales with the amount of tiers that you have. So the more tiers you have, um, the more of these you fire, and I thought we'd go with the menorah here. Basically, this is an item a little familiar that will increase the amount of candles that are lit depending on how many times we've been hit, and that will increase the amount of tears we fire, which will thus increase the amount of lasers that go off. So, a pretty interesting one. I think it's pretty cool. We'll take B um, BBF, why not? He's a annoying little guy, but he actually is kind of good for us because we kind of do want to be taking damage here, so... Taking damage isn't exactly a bad thing. It does work on self-damage as well, so if we find, I just want to say, a cash room, we'll definitely be going in there. And we want to be trying to get as much health as we can get to take advantage of hurting ourselves. And you can see already the lasers, even though the item itself lowers the amount of um, damage we have, the lasers are pretty good. Um, and we get two black hearts here already, very good. So you can see we've got two extra candles lit now. So we're now firing three tiers, which now means that there's three lasers going off. Um, so this thing scales pretty well. I, I'm really interested to see how it sort of functions if we get something like rubber cement. I, I can imagine that being pretty saucy with this. And just as for, uh, for the question of the day for today's episode, have you guys tried out the new Repentance Plus update with the balance changes? And especially, have you tried out online? As you guys know, you saw in the previous episode yesterday, I have been trying out the online. I really enjoyed it thus far. And I do want to try and integrate online at least sort of once a week or so. I want to do an episode integrating online. I know that it's vanilla only, which makes it not quite as enjoyable, especially on a channel like this where we only really play modded content. But, you know what? I still think it's cool and interesting to play around with online, so... I will be trying my best to um, to reach out to fellow creators for potential collaborations on... Ooh, that laser damage is nice. Potential collaborations on doing some corp runs. I've already reached out to a few creators and lined up a few videos. Um, and then also, I want to jump on with some friends, like I'd never named, and potentially some viewers as well. I mentioned about doing like an Isaac training program kind of thing, where people that find themselves struggling with this game, um, and would like to know how to do better from someone that's got over 2,000 hours in it, I could jump on with you guys, um, and we could record a run together. Being that obviously you have an okay mic, it doesn't need to be great, but as long as it's okay, and as long as you're okay being on microphone, and you are over 18, that is, um, then I'd be really down to, um, to, to, to help people sort of understand some of the mistakes they're making. Basically, I'd play very passively, I'd just kind of sit out of the way. I'd, I'd, I'd help in combat rooms, but I'd very much be quite passive and just kind of let you guys make your own mistakes and then kind of correct the ones I, I can correct. Um, and kind of go over what I think is the big mistakes here. So we're up to four tiers now. We would like a key. We're up to four key, uh, four tiers now, so we're getting four lasers alongside that. I like having these items where it's cool to showcase an item, but then if you can showcase another modded item alongside, it really should have gone for the secret room there. It was pretty obvious to be in that room. Um, I'll bomb this. Got ourselves a golden penny, and this game is having a hard time there. Oh, yes, I will take that. Unfortunately, a key is not coming our way thus far. Yeah, secret room's definitely here. Just kind of obvious. Oh, that's a lot of health. So we can only light our candle seven times, by the way. After the seventh, it'll reset back to one. So we do want to like, take a max amount of hits and then stop realistically. We don't want to keep getting hit. I think other secret room is here. I have only got one bomb, but I'm going to try it anyway, so I'm pretty confident. I think the chance for a key in here is, uh, yeah, reasonably high. Um, and it's a very good room for potential HP as well, actually. One soul heart of this, I'd reckon, at least. But don't get one, I'd be surprised. Wow. That's unlucky. Not getting a single one out of that is, uh, is pretty unlucky, Chucky. Anyways, let's uh, bomb this bad boy. Actually, ah, oh, I should have... I should have checked for a sack room first, realistically. Um, there's probably not going to be one, but I should have checked. Um, and we get ourselves a kinder egg, thank you. Or a kinder egg, should I call it. Oh god, why does that face look so horrible after eating that? That is uh, not something I've seen before, and I am not, not a fan of it. Wow, that was a very good spawn there. He literally spawned with um, BBF like in his mouth. I love the way the rat falls when he dies. 
Good stuff. Um, we do have a key now, of course. We can pop in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Remembrance of, the de of death is decent. When we hold down, we can do this and slice along the room. It's pretty useful. We'll, uh, we'll chop down some, a few of these as well. But yeah, I just think I just think kind of doing the idea of like an Isaac school would be a really interesting concept. Um, and I think a lot of people would benefit from it because it'd help both viewers and the people involved. Um, and I, I don't know, I think that could be really interesting. It's something unique as well. I like, uh, on YouTube, you've always got to be thinking of unique things to do, things that are a bit different, a bit out there, and I think that's definitely something. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure that it's something that other content creators will think of and do, but it's something that, like, I've had the initial idea of and I'd like to be one of the first to attempt it. So, if you guys are interested in that idea, please go onto my Discord, maybe in the Suggestions channel or, I don't know, the Isaac channel or something, and basically just submit your interest. If you are if you, if you fit the criteria of someone that, that I, I've said before would be ideal to do this with, then let me know, um, and uh, we can get something set up at some point. I'd be really interested in doing that. I'm definitely going to go Devil Deal here because we have a lot of red hearts, and we get a pretty good item, I'll take that. Five seconds after entering an uncleared room, Isaac screams, dealing damage and knocking back enemies. That sounds kind of interesting. I'll take that. Right, we've got plenty of money to work with, but no way into our shop on this floor, so I will just bitterly, bitterly bounce. It's a bit unfortunate that I used my, all my bombs before finding the golden bomb, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Right, yeah, these lasers. Now that we have so many tiers, these lasers are clearly doing some good stuff. An obituary here, really, really, really nice for scaling our damage back up a little bit. You can see that when we kill an enemy, we gain some permanent damage for the rest of the floor, as well as temporary damage upon killing said enemy. We've shown it off in a video before, actually, so you guys know the deal. But you can clearly see the, the lasers are uh, very much helping, especially on these larger rooms with a lot of enemies. The lasers are able to um, do quite a number. I just like the way they intersect. There's that little yell there. Don't know how useful that's going to end up being, but nice to have. Is there anyone in Isaac that doesn't push around the stone chests? Is there a single person that doesn't do that? Ooh, that's, that's just straight damage, that is. And we get ourselves... That, why, not, why not pop that now? We get fire mine for the room. We get explosion immunity. Don't really know where else I'd end up using that. Beautiful stuff, able to crack straight through their heads. I like it. So far, I'm having a good run. Having a good run. And we're able to keep our lasers going as well here, which is nice. I've not been hit too much to uh, put a knock-on effect on that. But you can, see, you can see that we started the floor at, like... I know we've had a damage up item, but we started the floor at, like, 2.5 damage, and we've really scaled it up quite heavily since then. Go back for our item room and shop as well, actually. We've got plenty of money to work with. I am still a little bit stuffed up today. Um, I'll probably be like it for the next week or so, I reckon. Uh, so I apologize if any of you are hearing me sniveling a little bit or hearing my voice sound a bit off. It is not something that I can help. If you guys still want content, it's going to have to be this way for a little bit. Um, as much as, as much as like, I probably should just rest and not record, I really do enjoy these videos. And they do take my mind off things, so it's nice to just have a bit of a chill time and play some Isaac. Right, we are killing stuff very fast right now. I took some damage there. Okay, so we are we are at full kill to Menorah now. We are... Dude, no! Right as I say that, I take damage. Right as I say that, I take damage. We'll play this guy. I don't even know what hit me. I think it was like a little mushroom or something. I didn't see it. If I had a small tear, that's all I know. We do gain an increase in fire rate when we uh, when we lose our menorah charges, so it's not all bad. Ooh, that uh, that yell destroys tears. That's really nice to know. Some extra bombs there's lovely. Look at that. Like we can hit enemies without even really hitting them. Ooh, and a soul heart there as well, and we even got some extra money here. It's only two of these rocks, so it's not gonna be a lot, but. I'll trade a bomb for some money. No way to hurt myself in here, unfortunately. I'd hurt myself in that red heart if I could. Okay, we took some damage, so we're firing two tiers now. That's a bit mean. That's a bit mean. 
Right, last one to go here. Wow, we are doing some great damage. Beautiful stuff. We got a lot out of this. And right, let's see what item we're likely to get. Eden Soul is actually a pretty good item for us to grab here because um, we don't have any active item right now. Eden Soul, I believe, works on item room. I should have probably checked that. Um, the current room is pool, so we can get some secret room items off the back of that, which could be kind of fun. Do some shenanigans with that. By the way, for those of you that didn't see the Isaac Online episode that I did, I know that some of you, that might not be your thing. Um, that's probably why it got quite a low, quite low views compared to a regular episode. But the next episode of that, because uh, it's a four-part, um, it's going to be a four-part series because it's a four-hour run, things get really crazy. Like, in terms of, like, the the run and the game-breakingness, things get pretty wild, so I, I highly recommend. Little Chad's pretty good for us in this scenario here. We'll be taking more damage. George, we quite like. And I'll grab that as well. Good stuff. George at least covers our very, very ugly face as well, which I'm appreciative of. Probably should have gone to the um, secret room first here before... A uh, secret room, sorry. The um, cash room here before grabbing our soul hearts and stuff, but well. I will spend two bombs to get to this golden chest. extra pennies. Lovely. Okay, we could try and find secret room here, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. I'll, I'll take a cursory glance as I'm on my way back here and see if I can find out, but so far it's not jumping out to me, so I think... Ooh, that that's jumping out to me, though. Yeah. Um, and we can actually play this a little bit for, um, for some Menorah Charges. There you go. We, we filled up on our Menorah Charges there. Now we're back up to seven tiers. Ooh, we actually opened up a, a red room off the back of that as well. I didn't realize. Thank you, George. Beautiful stuff. Okay. The menorah is locked and loaded now. Just got to not take damage. With, with Holy Mantle, it'd be really, really good. Oh, okay. Well, I got hit already. I didn't realize the uh, the, the pooter's eyes shot. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> that was uh, very much my mistake. My bad. Oh, well. Life goes on. Life goes on. I was able to get hit again, so I am on 2020 tiers at the minute. There's our red room. I'll pop this pill. Ayu Wizard doesn't actually matter all that much for us. Oh no, it kind of does. The lasers do come out at an angle. I didn't think it would matter that much because of the lasers, but it does seem to. There you go, though. But yeah, hopefully George giving us these adjacent red rooms will lead into a few ultra-secret rooms across the uh, course of the whole run. You never know how lucky you might get. Not worrying too much about taking damage. I would like to keep my Devil Deal chance alive, though. I'm going to try my best to do so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was, it was really fun to uh, to record that four-hour episode. Obviously, me and Nevernamed sat down not knowing it was going to turn into that sort of run. And honestly, it's probably like the most broken run I've ever had in terms of actually purposely breaking the game. I never really do that, and I probably should more. But like I said, I do want to, I do want to like introduce sort of trying to go on win streaks on occasion. Um, there you go. I do want to introduce yeah. trying to go on win streaks on occasion here. Upon defeating a boss, 20% chance to spawn an additional guppy, cricket, or tarry related item. Dead cat and both, both cricket items have lower weight in this pool. Interesting. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to give that a go. Um... But yeah, like I do, I do want to go back to to streaking again, trying to get some win streaks because they are pretty fun. Um, so I want to kind of mix that in with my modded episodes. Obviously, they'll still be modded. Like I'll still be using all my mods in the series, but we'll be just playing on like a different save file for the win sort of thing and trying to keep a win streak going. I think that could be pretty interesting. Let me let me know how many of you guys are are intrigued to see that. I have done one in the past and I really enjoyed it. I think we got a 58 win streak. I think it was. With, uh, that was with pretty much all the mods we have on now. We have a few extra, but very, very similar mods. 
Um, and yeah, that was that, that was really, really fun. Managed to get something quite crazy going together. And yeah, we could obviously do Eden streaking as well so that we have um, we have more modded items showing up to start with and stuff. Also, Eden streaks just add that little bit of extra flavor into it, I think. Little heart in here, please. Yes. Thank you. Hey, there's our ultra secret room. So we could actually use our um we could actually use our Eden's soul in here if we wanted to, which would be kind of an interesting idea. So we got ourselves the the red map. Reveals the location of ultra secret rooms. Any trinkets left in a boss or treasure room will turn to a cracked key. Unless this is your first time. So that's a pretty interesting item to grab. I think for considering we've got two dice shards in here, let's do this and see what we get. Unfortunately, both of those are pretty dookie. Okay, didn't think about the dice shard reroll and the other dice shard, but I'm honestly pretty happy with both of these items, so that's not a problem for me. Red stew is very, very good. And shoot the whoop is based on your damage, so while we've got red stew, it's even better. Trying desperately to keep my Devil Deal chance alive here, but uh, I'm not uber confident. Okay, it doesn't matter. We uh, the lasers have reached such a size now that they're they're making this the, the like the new noise. You can hear them being a bit chunkier. Go down. Um, the the lasers are like really hitting quite hard now. So what's our damage sitting at now? 14.25. That's pretty amazing. So now if we if we leave a trinket in a treasure room we can turn it into a um, look at those chunky lasers we can turn it into a what's it called a, a cracked key so that we can get to the ultra secret room that we can see there so i kind of want to keep hold of sushi for now but if we find another trinket this floor then i can make that work i probably should have rolled a bit deeper and not gone for the red map but i thought ha Having George and having, like, the ability to access cracked keys just seems like a recipe for being able to get to a lot of ultra secret rooms, which is fun. But 20 damage now. I'm loving it. As an extra key, I'll take that. Thank you. Excuse me. I pushed the red heart into the key. We're getting quite high up on Aminora as well here. We're up to six. I'm loving the um, the AOE effect that we're getting from having these uh, having these shots with the lasers. Ow! Fortunately, lost my Devil Deal chance once again. Seems to be a common occurrence for us. I've got this D12 thing going on here. I can roll through rooms. I don't even really need my Shoop the Whoop at the minute. Shoop the Whoop's mainly going to be for bosses, I think. Puzzle. Tiny planet. You know me. Never opposed to an interesting item. By the way, did you see on Repentance Plus patch, they changed a bunch of quality levels of a bunch of items. They made loads of things quality zero that just do not belong there. There's a lot of changes to the qualities. Not that qualities matter that much, but there's a lot of changes to the qualities that don't make an awful lot of sense. So here we go. So we've got a trinket here. So if I, if I come and grab this... Come into the treasure room over here. Drop it. And... Nope, 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 nope. Drop it. Leave it. Come back. There you go. So now it's a cracked key. So now we can go over this way. Back all the way up here. To where we know our red room is. And we can just get access into our red room. You see, this is beautiful. I didn't actually finish that room, did it? My bad. Do 
Beautiful stuff. Let the D12 do its thing in this room. Really, the only thing you kind of want is golden poops right now, isn't it? There's not much else from the D12 that I'm going to want. Unless it can reroll into rune rocks, that'd be kind of good. Ow. Oh, my menorah went off. Damn it, we're back to uh, back to basics. I've got to go back this way because I need to get my uh, trinket back, my sushi. I want to see that work. I want to see that proc. Beautiful. Our damage is thick. Throw it into the boss, I think. Oh my god. The shoot the whoop having, like, scaling off of our damage is uh, very, very nice right about now. Good floor. Managed to take advantage of the red map as well. I was a little worried that we were going to have wasted our uh, item pickup on that and could have re-rolled into something better, but now I'm pretty glad for it. Basically, we just got to find one trinket of floor. That's all. Taken care of, fellas. Is that it? Can we escape this room now? No, we cannot. There you go. Right. Still looking to keep my Devil Deal chance alive here, if possible. We do have the Champion Curse going on here. Gotta be a little wary of that. Lots and lots of things being turned to Champions. Don't really need that many of the pickups we get in the room here. Damn it, Explosive Enemy got me. Devil deal, you will never be mine again, apparently. Guess I'll fill up my health. 2020, that's pretty nice. A base level of extra multi tiers is uh, definitely quite good. I don't even know how many we're firing now, but there's lasers going off all over the goddamn place. Good old 2020. Yeah, that's a lot of lot of lasers firing. Hitting pretty much everything. Obituary has really scaled this run crazily as well. Managed to get a lot out of that. I like Tiny Planet too. People that don't like Tiny Planet are people I can't trust. If I was to meet someone in the street, and they were like, yeah, I play Isaac, and I asked them, do you like Tiny Planet? And they said, no. I would be like, okay, bye then. You're weird. Something wrong with you. People that don't like Tiny Planet have something called a skill issue. The item's good. It's fun. It has interesting synergy potential. What's there not to love? And if any of y'all watching are some of those people, you have to be honest and let me know that you don't like Tiny Planet and you have to explain why. And if your explanation is it makes tears harder to hit, then I'm sorry, but you're basic. Oh, shoot the whoop, baby. Shoot the whoop is a beautiful thing. Um, we got anything here that's going to be crazy for us? Summons a dark charger. When charger dies, activate black hole. That seems kind of interesting. Um, tier sentiments, transparent, and get- Ooh, that is- Oh wait, can we even get that? I think we have to have flight to get that. That's really annoying. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I guess I'll just leave. That That's the only item I really wanted in there. That book sounds interesting, though. A book sounds interesting. But we speed on. We've still not lost all of our damage from what's it called yet? From... Um... What the hell's the item's name? Red Stew? We're still... Training off of the back of that. Oh man, this runs... This runs become something beautiful. 
I'm hoping be lining it towards where the um, where the red room is is going to give us the right direction. Sadly, not quite. We do have a trinket here. We'd have to get to the boss room first. I think I grab this trinket now and try and take it to wherever the boss room is. And then we can come back if we want to come back. Oh, my menorah. My poor menorah. Right, devil deal chance. I am not letting you slip through my fingers anymore. I will not allow it to happen. Here's the boss. It's big beefy Skrullex. There you go, look at this baby. Ooh, random devil deal item. Yes, please. And then we can drop this in here. Come back for that. And we can go and gain access to our cute little room over here. And we can also pick up our other trinket as well. I think sushi's kind of worthless now, though, so... Honestly, I might as well just turn it into a key on the next floor. In fact, I can do it on this floor, can't I? Scarlet chests unlocked. I don't know why. I thought I already had those unlocked. But Backstabber's very nice with Tiny Planet. Yet another reason that Tiny Planet is good. Um, right. I think we take this trinket and we turn it into a crack key before we go to the next floor. Because I think it's pretty much useless now. Bit of steam sale. I mean, again, pretty useless. But why not? Right. Away we go. So, drop this in here, walk out, walk back in, get us off the crack key. Next floor, now we've got a crack key ready for the next floor. So this, this red map's been a pretty goddamn good item for us so far. We've managed to take full advantage of it realistically. I like that. Cool. And we get ourselves the plum flu. Which, unfortunately, isn't really something I want to take. Definitely a shame to see. Mr. Dolly with the three soul heart black heart combo is uh, very, very nice. Pound of flesh. I'm pretty sure pound of flesh is a quality zero now. Yeah, fire is definitely... Uh, Gone crazy now. Little Abaddon. Remember, we get Devil Deal items on occasion for 90 whole seconds, which is about about half a floor. Maybe even sometimes a full floor if we're going at speeds we are now. It's very beautiful to have. Very, very worthy of being uh, quality four. You can see the amount of lasers we're producing there. Walk into a room and things just kind of die. No matter where I'm firing, the lasers will find them. I'm really liking the menorah with this. It's a cool addition. Not exactly most thematic in terms of fitting together, but a fun one nonetheless. Beautiful. Extra soul heart there. A bit of death's touch with some piercing to go along with all this. That's not a bad idea, game. That's not a bad idea. You're giving me something that's pretty relevant to our run. I like it. Right. Hopefully this is the right way. We're going to be in a lot of the wrong way thus far. Yes. Piercing is uh, something else here. Piercing is very, very good. Oh, man. How am I getting so unlucky with... Uh, Going the wrong way constantly. Bag of bobbies to come along for the ride too. I don't mind the, the hits I'm taking, honestly, because it's just leveling up my menorah. But um, going all the wrong ways constantly is uh, a little tedious. 
bit of Dark Bomb along for the ride as well. There we go. There you go. Nice and easy. Get destroyed. We get Mandrake. Lovely. Oh, man. Still don't really know why Mandrake exists. It just kind of screams. It blocks shots, I guess. Blocking shots is something, I suppose. It's not nothing. Ah, we lost one of our items there. And 90 seconds is up. Dude, Backstabber, Tiny Planet, especially with piercing, is insanely good. It just triggers on every single enemy. You know it's beautiful. Contract from below as well. Nice one. That could be kind of useful next floor if we make it there before it runs out. And the lasers are still... You can see how thick they are. The lasers are still doing a mighty good job. The bonus damage from Obituary has really carried this run, I think. But even still, the lasers are doing great work at just hitting things that we're not directly hitting. Yeah. Wrong way or not? I can't quite tell here. But Spirit of the Night maybe right now? Is that a black heart there from Dark Bum? I think it is. Thank you, Dark Bum. The short time that you're with us. Ah, oh, we lost Death Touch. No. It's okay though. He's with us in spirit. Oh, dude, yes. Beautiful stuff. We're getting a lot of void portals here. Dark Matter is very nice as well here. I think you always get one from a boss, or at least it's a very high chance to get an item from a boss. This is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, I had a feeling that the fires were going to be kind of wild. The white and black as well, that's kind of cool. And also the work with Tiny Planet. You can see that the lasers are triggering the fires at the locations of where enemies are. I didn't actually see what those underwear did then. Remove stat up effects when you take damage. Okay, I see, it's fine. But you give us some stats and we lose it when we take damage and we come back later. Fine by me. Go, 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 go. I'll take a poop bag, why not? Mortal Coil is a great name for that item. Poop Coil, the Mortal Coil, I like it. Hey, Contract from Below is helping. We just got a proc from it just before we lost it. How are you still alive, my guy? Okay, boss has got to be very, very sh shortly here. I love the fact that the lasers are spawning fires where the lasers directly hit. That's really cool. Um, excuse me? Why do I have to do that? I have no idea. We are still reaping the benefits. Still reaping the benefits of, uh, what's it called? Red stew. I've got a weapon to do the whole death effect thing, haven't I? That's where I messed up last time. Yeah. Chill out, my guy. And this wasn't even the right way. Hells, bells. Oh, Flatstone's kind of an interesting one here. I like it. The bouncy bouncies.
Gilmora. Probably should have waited until he had less boss armor before I did that, but oh well. It's kind of funny how, like, we're at, like, our lowest damage we've had at the last boss. I've actually got very low HP here for this as well. Which was maybe not my best idea. I mean, the good thing is he is dying pretty quick. I do have to be slightly careful about things being thrown at me here, because it's a bit hard to see the tears and stuff. I have one hit left. I could genuinely very easily lose this run if I'm not careful, which I'm not, so I expect it. This last phase isn't as bad. Really depends what attack you decide to do. That's an annoying one. Also an annoying one. Yeah, bugger. As if I died on this run. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.